Hey guys, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back with another new comic book day best bets of the week. For this week, it's February 19th, 2020. Uh, just a quick recap on last week's new comic book day uh, best bets of the week. We finished at $26, which is under our goal of uh, $30 or less. Um, another update if you guys didn't have a chance, I uh, today I did a live stream on my channel. It was on my uh, 2020 updates goals and thoughts. I ended up getting one of the um, other four goal books off my list. So if you hadn't had a chance already, I'll drop that link there. Check it out. Also had this cool uh, AOK slash winnings I got from one of the uh, comic um, community and a really cool sketch provided by uh, Jay Hood. So check that out if you guys get a chance. I really appreciate that. Um, and I dropped some cool photos on uh, Instagram as well. So... Um, all right, getting on to this week, there's some uh, very interesting books. Um, you know, if you guys recall my uh, my best bet of the week last week was Venom 23, Scotty Young. If you guys were able to get that book, you know, ended up going for four or five times cover price. And that, you know, told you right off the bat it was going to be the hot book of the week. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can get my hot books of the week. My... Um, insight on what I think is going to be some hot books for the new comic book day uh, best bets of the week some great reads some cool covers and etc so uh, let's get into it I want to make this on the shorter side this time and uh, all right let's start with the uh, image um, let's expand this a little bit so image there is a new number one this week that's coming out um, interesting is called on the stump um, I don't know, not really for me, but I just wanted to uh, point that out that there is a new number one for uh, image talks about um, history diverge in 1868 with a pivotal presidential debate turned violent. Yeah. All right. Maybe interesting, but um, I don't know. I'm going to pass on that, but just wanted to point that out. Um, there's some uh, good books I've been reading right along. Undiscovered Country Number Four comes out this week, and there's also Spawn 305, which is back. Um, I dropped that a couple issues back, but I just wanted to point that out. I think there is something key. I think there's a 10-page story or a new story from uh, Todd McFarlane that may be key. I don't know. So look into that if you're interested. And there's also Undiscovered Country Number Number One, the fourth printing. All right, so going into Dark Horse, there is one book I'm looking at this week. It's going to be a hot book. This is Bang Number One. It's a five-part miniseries. A um, little insight on this book. Key Collector spotlighted this, basically, that this book is going to be optioned. So keep aware of that if you're looking at a book that may grow a little bit of money, you know, value in the short term. This book is one to look out for it's an indie it's by dark horse comics bang number one the ash can came out in december 2019 it was a two per store uh ash can release and they were from what i heard a lot of them were just giving them away and um looking on ebay this past this past week that book has been selling for quite a bit uh let me just quickly uh, pull this up if i may and uh, just to show you guys that I'm not, you know, making this stuff up, I like to show you what the books are actually selling for. Just so if you're interested, you can kind of reference this pretty quickly. And um, cover A and B just sold for 16 bucks. So as you can see, that's you know about four times over ratio. Um, this is 30 bucks, and this is for the ash can. So this is going to be a hot book this week. The ash can sold for 30 bucks, 20 bucks. So if you can find the ash can, it's definitely a nice book you can pick up and just quickly flip. If you can get that on the cheap. This one's a little bit of an outlier, 46 bucks. So just you know, be aware that the um, the cover A and, and cover B are already sold out on uh, Midtown. Just to quickly show you guys. So they're sold out. They did have cover A just a few days ago. A few uh, they did restock, and I noticed that it quickly sold out again. So. Um, Look into that if that's something you're into. I'm going to add that to my list because um, if I can get this book, 
you know, it's it's gonna be uh, be nice you know, just to read it. You know, I think it'll be a good book. So, uh, three ninety nine. There you go. First book I'm adding. All right. So, um, that's it for Dark Horse. Uh, scrolling through. There we go. Going into DC. Uh, let's see. All right. The first book is gonna be from DC is Batman eighty nine. If you guys haven't been made aware of this already, this is um, going to be the first uh, cameo appearance of Punchline and the designer. Um, this has been hyped up quite a bit within the last couple of weeks. It is, for a Batman standpoint, on the lower print run, I want to say they're around 80, 90,000 print run, which is much lower than what they had been up around the 150, 160,000 print run. So um, print run is low. Big speculation on this uh, new character potentially, you know, I don't know, replacing Harley Quinn, being the Joker's girlfriend, maybe a storyline going further to elaborate on this. Who knows? I'm just putting it out there. This is going to be the hot book of the week, guaranteed, hands down. This is my pick of the week just because of that. It's the prices speak for themselves on uh, eBay. This book is selling for absolutely ridiculous prices. If I can get my hands on one of these books at my LCS, I'm going to pick this up. Like, people are listing these books for 40 bucks a pop. And um, and they're selling. This is it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. These books are selling. One just sold for 25 bucks. Yeah. The pair for 68 bucks, 60. You know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. If you can get one for cover price, pick one up. I just want to read the story. I want to see what the whole, the big hype is. Um, so I'm going to actually end up shooting an email to my uh, LCS owner, seeing if he can put one aside for me. I'm hopeful that I can get one, but cross my fingers to see if I can get one for me. Um, add that to the list at $3.99 and you know don't buy into the FOMO don't go on eBay and paying those prices just wait wait it out if you can't get one and then um, probably within a couple of months or so the book will be back down so uh, unless it ends up being one of those outliers where it is like the book of the year but I highly doubt that there's new appearances all the time so don't go crazy Batman 89's the pick of the week. If you can find one, get it. Um, moving on. There's another new number one this week. It's the Deceased Unkillables number one. It's a, it's a really short mini series, one of three. I guess it's like a villain's series. I don't know. Um, some absolutely amazing covers. That's a really cool Wonder Woman cover. And uh, I think cover B... It's also really nice. Um, I didn't get the deceased the first part. I thought a lot of it was personally really great cover art and not much substance from the story. So I just wanted to point this out. I'm not going to be picking it up, but I know there's a big following for deceased. So look into that if that's something you're into. And uh, there's one other book I'm definitely going to recommend this week, and that's Plunge number one miniseries, uh, one of six by the uh, Joe Hill Hill House Comics. It's um, this book looks very interesting. I think it's going to be one of the big reads of the week. I do like uh, Joe Hill's um, a lot of his books that he's putting out there, and uh, this one sounds very interesting. It's basically a vessel that's gone missing over the uh, Bering Strait, which is in the in the Arctic. And um, there's been a distress signal that they find 40 years later. So uh, that's right up my alley. I think it's going to be very interesting, very good read. So for 3 dollars I'm going to add that. And uh, that's it for uh, DC. All right. Moving on to uh, Marvel. Uh, I think there is something here that I was actually looking into this week. And uh, just scrolling through, 
Uh, there's uh, looks like there's a Black Widow prelude. Somewhat interesting. Not not really not for me. <laughs> but um. Ah uh, yeah, here we go. The uh, book that I think everybody is going to be looking forward to in uh, Marvel this week, I think, is uh, Wolverine number one. I'm going to pull that up real quick. So as you know, Wolverine's back. Um, big following for Wolverine, obviously. This is going to be a huge print run. So don't go crazy buying all these covers. Um, it's, I expect it to be well over 150 to 200,000 uh, print run. There's uh, tons of really nice covers. This is one of my favorite covers is the uh, Alex Ross cover. Um, let me just go on to uh, Midtown because they have a ton more covers on here that uh, Preview World doesn't usually show. I just wanted to point some out there for you guys. There's a nice cover by, um, by Raza, which looked really nice too. Uh, let me see if I can find that. So that's that uh, Alex Ross I was talking about. Really nice green cover. And then uh, a really cool party uh, cover done by Raza. So either one of those is really cool, I think. I'm going to add this to the list at uh, $7.99. It is very pricey book. Don't really understand why. But, um, you know, Marvel can do it and people buy it. So enough said on that <laughs> but uh yep that's it for uh i want to say that's it for marvel this week yeah so that's it for marvel moving on um let's see i think there is a couple of other books i was looking into just going on to uh key collector real quick i think the rest of them were are going to be indies yeah all right so um, getting towards the uh, the end here so uh, let me just open this up and I want to point out a few indies here that may be worth looking into um, I believe here's the first one uh, cannabis this book's been pushed back quite a bit from Scout Comics I want to say two three weeks now um, I just ended up picking up over the weekend a mystery box from Scout Comics because they were doing their President's Day 50% uh, off sale. So I emailed them. Hopefully they put this in one of the, in the mystery box. I was interested in checking this out. I'm going to add this as an honorable mention because I think it may be interesting. You know, Scout's known for uh, doing one issue releases and doing the rest of them, uh, putting them out there later on just to uh, save money from a business standpoint. I get it, you know, it is what it is, but that's what they do because they hope to see that these books potentially get optioned. But um, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, futuristic, you know, lifeless alien planet, 300 light years from Earth, with no memories beyond a hazy sense of extinction level urgency to return to Earth. So I, I like these uh, futuristic deep space type of uh, storylines. Looks interesting. Like I said, I'm going to add this as my honorable mention and uh, go from there. And maybe it's going to be a good read. Who knows? So um, that's the first one there for Scout Comics. Um, scrolling on through, there is, if I'm not mistaken, what is the book? Ah, here we go. Uh, God Killers. So this is by Aftershock. This one looks pretty cool. So it talks about an Arab American folklore professor turned soldier whose fear of death stems from uh, uncertainty about the existence of an afterlife. So uh, God Killers number one, he uh, this character basically joins a special forces unit tasked with uh, fighting insurgents using uh, you know some sort of uh, magic you know creature to fight. You know, so it looks interesting. I'm gonna add this to the list. At uh, it is a little pricey. It's five bucks, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot. And there, I believe there's uh this cover, and then there's an incentive cover as well. So look out for that. Um, I believe I can pull this up on uh, on uh, what do you call it? On Midtown.
see. But uh, let's see if I can find this real quick. Oh, jeez. The struggle sometimes is scrolling and finding all these damn books because they put out like 200 books a week. But uh, <laughs> so uh, sorry about this, guys. Bear with me. I just wanted to show you this cool cover. Uh, there we go. All right. So this is a one in 25. Just the one of the point that out. It's a nice cover. I I like that. Um, obviously not gonna pick it up, but uh. I, I like this. I like the cover. Right? I think this is nice. Got to look, you know, the boot with the machine gun and then the helmet. That's that, that's that's awesome. So, uh, like I said, recommended that book. And then there's one more book I wanted to add to finish off this list. And then we'll call it at that. And um, it's uh, Savage Bastards. So, uh, Savage Bastards, number one, by Mad Cave Studios. Story of brotherhood, revenge, betrayal, set back in the 1870s. You know, half-brothers Sam and Elliot fight across a series of satellite towns in Sonoran Desert in order to save Elliot's mother from their sadistic sociopath of a father. So, this looks interesting. Um, I know this book's already sold out on Midtown. And... Um, it might be a little bit difficult to find because it's through Mad Cave Studios and they're very, very low print. But uh, if you can find this book, I think it's going to be hot. Um, and I think it's going to be a good read. So adding that to the list, we're at final total, 29 bucks. So there you go. We finished under budget. Hope you guys like my picks of the week. In the comments down below, you tell me what you guys are going to be looking at. Thinks so you have good reads, nice covers, whatever the you know books may be. Let me know what you guys are looking at picking up for this week's new comic book day. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subbing, thanks for continuing supporting the channel. Until next time, it's Mark Spectre Comics. Out.